Hi there, welcome to J Academy. In this video, I'll show you how to write a program in Python about rolling the dice. Okay, so the basically the logic will be uh, like you have two dice and you know the dice has got a number from one to six. So using those two dice, uh, you're going to throw the dice and it will show the value from one to six and then it is going to ask the user whether he wants to continue for the next round or not. So let us start with this dice game and you can also play this game so that uh, you can check out what is the total sum when you roll the dice and with your brother or sister. So I'm using repl.it and if you are first using this repl.it uh, you have to make an account. So already my account is there. Then I'm going to press new repl and then you can see a lot of languages are there. Since I'm doing on Python, I'm going to choose Python and then I'm going to give the name dice rolling, create the REPL and there you go. So here you in the editor, you need to write your program in this site and once you run it, you get your output here. So this part, I'm going to minimize, I want to make it small. So let's start writing the code. So what will be the logic? First, uh, we need to take, because one to six should be random, we need to import the package called random. Okay. And then you need to ask uh, the user whether he wants to roll again or not. So we are by default, this is a variable which will say yes, he wants to do it in the first time. And then we have to write a loop and in the loop, you, ha you, ha you have two dices and you're going to uh, use a random number where you want to find the value from one to six. Okay, so we are going to write while roll again. So you can use the tab to get it equal to yes. Then in that case, what you need to do is that you have to print something that rolling the dice. And then once you are giving, you have to write that what is the value of the dice. So you can write the value of the dice. Next, you can take the value of dice one equal to random dot rand int from one to six. Similarly, you can get the value of dice two as random dot rand int from one to six. So the value of ran uh, randomly, uh, which is of integer type from one to six will be stored in dice one and the value from one to six will be stored in dice two. Now what we need to do, we need to print the value of dice one and dice two. So we are going to print the value of dice one and dice two. And next we have to ask the user, we need to ask the user whether he wants to continue this game or not. So you have to ask, roll again equal to input wanna roll the dice again yes or no okay so that's what you are asking the user to get the value and if you give the give the value of yes or no accordingly you are going to get this loop again if he gives no it is going to get out of the loop. If he gives yes, this loop will continue where he will get the number of dice one and dice two and print it again. Okay. So let us run this program again and check it out. So I'm going to run this program. So, okay. The first time it is rolling the dice, the value of the dice is two and four. So it is asking the user you want to dice, roll the dice again. I'm saying yes. And there you go with the second round of two six. 
again yes you got a value of 6 and 5 the first dice is 6 and 5 and then you are telling no and you are coming out of the loop right so that's all guys so one small changes you can do in this game that instead of 1 comma 6 you are asking giving a range of 1 and 6 you can say that minimum equal to 1 and maximum value equal to 6 so instead of 1 and 6 if you give min and max that looks little good right So let's run it one more time and there you go with your program it's running very fine wanna roll it one more time yes and you got a value of 6 6 that's the wonderful number and then I'm pressing no and here is the end of this program I hope you will uh, like this video if you like this video do subscribe the channel and share the channel because sharing is caring thank you bye bye